Hello everyone, today we're going to be testing out the Nomad 20 with the Gold Zero Sherpa 100 AC and the Gold Zero Yeti 200X. So if the solar panel is receiving sun and you plug it into the Yeti 200X, a blinking blue light will appear indicating that it is charging. So if there's no sun in the sky but there's just plain daylight, the solar panel is not receiving sun you will not receive the blinking blue light rather you will receive a steady blue light indicating that the solar panel is not receiving quite enough power to charge your yeti and here we see that the wattage is zero so no power no charge so our first test is about november and here we're receiving about 10 11 watts so as you see I'm using the Sherpa to test the wattage because the Goal Zero 200X does not have a wattage display. So our next test is going to be spring. Uh, right now we're receiving 14-15 watts. So one thing to note is that when it's cloudy in the sky you're going to be receiving 1 watt or less than 1 watt. Now our last and final test is going to be during the summer. So in the summer you're going to receive 17 or 18 watts and that is the max you're going to be receiving with this solar panel. Keep in mind that the Yeti 200X has a MPPT charge controller while the Sherpa 100AC has a PWM. MPPT is more efficient with solar charging so you're going to get more power in that way. With the built-in USB port, you can charge phones or any USB device, such as this USB fan, and this is perfect for hot days when you don't have a battery but just want to power a fan. So this solar panel allows you to use the USB port and the 8mm port simultaneously, so you can be charging your phone in one port and charging your Yeti in the other. As you can see, I'm using the USB port in the solar panel to charge the phone and I'm also using the 8mm cord to charge the Yeti and both devices are charging at the same time. The second option is to use pass-through charging. So as you're powering the Goal Zero through the 8mm cord, you can be plugging in a phone from the Goal Zero. And one of the most important parts about using this panel is to angle it so you can get the optimal power from the sun. So as you can see, I'm going to close one part of the solar panel and the wattage will drop. When I reopen it, the wattage will increase once again. So as you can see, I have the Flip 12 attached to the solar panel and I'm going to be plugging in the Lighthouse Mini. And as you can see, both are charging simultaneously, meaning that the Flip 12 has passed through charging. This is useful when there's passing clouds or if you're bringing the solar panel on a hike where there are lots of trees. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and like. And stay tuned because we are going to be reviewing the Rockpile 60 watt solar panel as well as the new 200 watt generator.